All right, this is a quick live tutorial per request. Just gonna to try to keep it basic. First of all, you wanna to get to the top of the map and hope your team is there with you. Use rockets for close range and then lightning gun for mid range. Oh, didn't let me up. Try to get to the top of the map and keep it. Unless you're going to kill someone like so. Missed him, it's okay. Try to get behind this person. That's fairly behind him. And uh, Railgun is a finishing weapon and also long range. It packs a punch of 80 damage. Rockets do 100, Lightning Gun does 6 per hit. So Rockets is a safe weapon when it's up close, otherwise you want to stick to Lightning Gun. Throw a grenade in there for the mix. And this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pretty much predict where he is and have my aim ready to try to hit him. He's doing the same to me. That was a fast switch, you probably didn't see it. Okay, I'm gonna go through the tully and he might be up top, so my aim is already up there. I hear him. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. And that's game, unfortunately. Anyway, so you want to walk around corners with your aim already right on the where they could come out of, of the wall or something like that. So you want to have your aim where they could be. And obviously you need to learn the map before you can do that. For example, if I'm going to drop down here, I know people wait down the end there, so I'm going to have my aim in the general vicinity and shoot there. As soon as you go in the air, you're really easy to hit, so don't do that. Try to stay on the ground, try not even to jump. The reason I rock a jump like that is because it's fast and it keeps it low, so it's not easy to hit. And they're the basics of the game. Uh, I don't know if you know how to strafe jump, so that's basically you hold down strafe and hit jump and that increases your speed. Uh, if you watch the rocket jumping tutorial I did, I explained it a bit better there. But you want to get your movement right because that allows you to position yourself and positioning is very important in this game. So to conclude, you want to try to get around teammates, try to get the high ground, use the three main weapons, rocket up close, lightning gun at mid range and rail at distance. Try to predict where they're going to be so your aim is already ready. And of course try to work out how much health they have so you can finish them off. So rocket, rocket, rocket. And if you've just missed a little bit, change the lightning gun, finish them off. If they still don't die, just get back to rocketing. And hopefully they'll die with the rail. Ah, oh, it's not by me. Now if you want to get a bit more advanced aiming style, rockets you want to fire at the ground and sort of wait for them to make the move and then fire. You're not always going to hit, but I found that once they commit to a move it's going to take them a bit longer to change direction, so you can usually hit them. And especially if they jump or in it, they're in the air. It's so easy to predict where they're going to land. Now, lightning gun, it's actually more in the strafe keys. You don't want to aim the mouse too much. Like that. See that? I'm just sort of strafing. I'm not moving the mouse much. It still takes a while to get used to. But if you try to... Hang on, I'll just show you. If you try to aim at them all the time, you're going to find that you're moving the mouse too much and it looks like they're going really quickly all of a sudden. Strafing and not moving the mouse. I'm just going to use a weapon light lightning gun. It reduces the speed of the screen moving and that gives the impression that they're not moving very quickly either, which makes it easier to track them with the lightning gun. With rail, you want to try to just, I mean it's point and shoot, I zoom in a little bit just because I don't like having to strain. I mean that guy was ducking me, not a very good example. So rail is obviously you look for where they're going to most likely be. He's trying to be tricky, yeah he's tricky. See if he stops, I don't actually know which way he's moving. So I start using a flick or 
small flick style with a. Alright, where are we? See, so yeah, I waited for him to get, go into my aim then. Alright, so new map again. Get to the high point of the map, which is bridge on this map. Have rockets out. Try to do the damage. Watch out for people coming to the side. Hit them with rail if they're down there. I'm in a bad position. Is he going to come back out? No. <laughs> I hit him. Okay, now let's get out of here. Rockets splash them in. Whoa, run! <laughs> Don't want to get into the grenades. Now he's down here, so get right ready. No, it's fine. Anyway, so you sort of wait for them to move into your aim with rail. And a lot of it is just prediction in the sense that you're predicting where you're most likely going to need to aim rather than just trying to follow them with aim because that gets messy as you see here. I'm trying to track them all the time. It's better to leave the mouse in one section. Now I'm getting out of there because my team clearly doesn't like going to where they should on this map. Oh wow. Straight to the face. Nowhere to move. Dead. Alright, I've told my team to come to the bridge. Hopefully they do. So again, you want to start with rockets, get to the high point of the map. Now I jumped down, I shouldn't have got the kill though. I'm gonna go chase these guys. Oh wow, grenade hit me. See how I'm switching? As soon as I get close enough, I'll rocket. Okay, so I'm on the other side at the moment, and we have the numbers, so I'm just going to lightning gun from a distance. It's going to drop down, I'm going to chase him, back away. That's dodging, because I knew he was going to fire close up. Nice flick shot to... And there he is. He's low, so I'm going to use rocket... Ah, uh, sorry, lightning gun to finish him off. And we're almost done. Last round, I'm going to just check around the map, so there's one here, we have most of our people here, one, two, three, okay someone else came too. I think there's one more over there. Oh, there he is. And game. So I hope that helps. I was using the Rapu V300 because it is my favorite mouse to use in these games. Any questions, just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I can do more detailed tutorials if you like. I've got a lot of experience in these games. And some of the tips will apply to other first person shooters as well. So yeah, give me a shout. I'll catch you in the next video.